Oh yeah, it's time to get a new motorcycle. And I got a deal that's locked in on one of the sickest motorcycles you can buy right now that's hard to come by, but you know what? It came down to four bikes. Came down to the one of the most epic bikes, in my opinion, is the 2021 KTM 1290 Super Duke R, aka the Beast, with over 105 pound feet of torque. Number two, the Ducati V4 Street Fighter. It's one of the coolest looking bikes. Oh my gosh, tons of power, which I don't need out here on the streets, but it's amazing looking, super naked. Number three, the Triumph Speed Triple R, the newest, latest one that just came out that has been improved in every way except for the headlights. And number four, the Harley Davidson Sportster S that just came out, which looks really cool. Fairly lightweight for a cruiser. It's got some bump and power on it. It's got that new engine. So, it's one of those four bikes I got a deal on right now on the table, but I can cancel that deal and get one of these other bikes or any other bikes that you mentioned. And also got some, some latest updates that I want to share with you guys. I got some new stuff that I want to tell you guys about, about me moving on. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. First off, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell symbol so that you get notified of my latest videos. But whatever motorcycle you're riding out there, make sure you wear the full gear to help keep you safe out there on the streets. And if you want to get my awesome gear, like my favorite helmet, like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, my Motovlog camera, airbag vest, and all my gear, I have links to it in the description and comment section of this video. Also, by the way, I got this new Insta 361X2 camera, which is awesome. I have a link to this in the description section as well. And man, you can get some really cool shots with this. I'm still working with this and testing it out, but I hope to implement this on my bike and future bikes so I can get some really cool shots. But anyways, I have a deal right now on the 2021 KTM 1290 Super Duke R in the black. It's not a good deal. It's the worst deal that I've ever had on a motorcycle. Um, because there's none of these motorcycles for sale in the country, Tw at least the 2021, there's like three other ones. That's it. And there's one used one, that's it. So it's hard to come by, I have to pay for shipping, and I have to pretty much pay MSRP, but it's $19,000 out of the dealership, and then I have to pay 8% sales tax here, then with insurance and shipping is $600, it's gonna run me like $21,400 for that bike. Tell me guys, is it worth it to pay that much money for that new Super Duke? I think it's the best looking Super Duke yet. I've heard nothing but rave reviews and the you know YouTube reviews from the motor vloggers and professional vloggers, and they all say it's awesome with torque all throughout the rev range. It's got 105 pounds feet of torque. You know the Super Duke has always been at the top of my list for a long time. It's just never worked out. Um, but of course you got the Ducati V4 Street Fighter, uh, which is like I said, really awesome looking bike. But it's it's more of a top end bike. So I'm not a top end dude. I don't want to be speeding out here on the street like crazy speeds, you know, like over 100. I'm more of a zero to 100 guy. That's why I love this bike. This bike will do 105, but man, this thing rips, you know, up to up to 105. It's just loaded with torque and just woo, wheelie machine, boy. Well, the Speed Triple R, I don't like the headlights are ugly, man. And it seems kind of from what the reviews I've seen and it seems like a cool bike, but it's nothing that's gonna scare me. I want a bike that's gonna scare me. That's why the Super Duke R comes to mind, you know? That's why I think I should get that bike. Do you think I should get that bike? I put a poll on my community tab on my YouTube channel. Um, go vote on that or leave a comment in this video and let me know, should I get that new Super Duke? The most I ever spent on a motorcycle was for that 2016 Ducati XD Avail S that I purchased in 2017 or late 2017. And I paid six, about with taxes and everything, it came to about $16,000, man. And that was a $25,000 bike brand new. And I bought it one year old. So to be paying $21,000, $400 for this Super Duke is crazy, man. 
am I really going to get that much, I have that much more fun on the Super Duke R? I don't know, man. It's, but if you can think of any other motorcycle that I should get, leave a comment below and tell me about it, man. Because I'm trying to decide, or should I just go pick up like some old used bike that's really cool or something, maybe an old VMAX or something, pick it up for like 7000 or something. It's just, I don't know, well, leave a comment, let me know. I have till Monday to make the decision. It's I already put a deposit, $500 deposit on it. It's, it's held. I got the deal held down right now. It's just a matter of me just saying, yes, let's do it. I got the shipper. I already got the shipper ready and everything. So I would get the bike probably in about a couple of weeks or so or less. So the only issue I have though with getting the bike is that when I go down to my southern property, which by the way, I'm here at my Ohio house, as you can see, and some of you may be wondering why am I still here in Ohio? Well, I decided to keep my Ohio house because I want to be a snowbird. I want to live up here in the summer and fall when it's beautiful here in Ohio. And then when the weather gets crappy and it's horrible here in the winter, to go down south to my 20 acre country state I just bought a few months ago and did a tour on. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, awesome. Absolutely amazing. My dream came true with that property, man. I, which, by the way, I got this new fold-up trailer when I was down in Georgia. I picked this up in South Carolina um, straight from the factory. This thing is awesome, man. I tell you, this holds a full-size side-by-side on this, guys. Because that's what I bought it for. Because I wanted to buy a side-by-side -side, you know, with my country property down there. And I told my uh, YZ from down south you know, to up here. And I tell you, this thing is awesome, man. It butter smooth. You hardly even know you're towing anything. You don't. It's so smooth and awesome. I had zero issues. Um, I only paid what three thousand dollars for this, and it stands up in the garage. It's awesome because here in this development here, you can't have a trailer sitting out, you know. And also, when you have a trailer sitting out, it weathers. It gets bad, rusty. It messes the bearings up. Tires get dry rotted and everything. So it's awesome to have a trailer in here, and this takes very little room. It's awesome. I don't have a link to this. I did review um, with the same company they have another one it's a single motorcycle fold-up trailer which I did a full review on and I owned for a couple of years um, before I sold it and got this but go check that video out um, I do have a link to that trailer if you want to get that trailer um, both of them are awesome this one's kind of better though even though it's more expensive because I can put a side-by-side -side on it and put or put two or three motorcycles on it and it's awesome and this this golf cart which I wanted to take down to the country property um, but I'm thinking, you know, if I decide not to go with this Super Duke on Monday, I figure that when I go down south, there's a place that I can rent motorcycles. I think I may just rent different motorcycles, man, and provide content to the channel that way because I don't have a, 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 you know, a motorcycle dealership deal like some of these motor vloggers have because out here in Ohio, these dealers don't want, they don't let you test ride bikes really too much, man. All I've been doing so far on my channel, I've been buying bikes, you know, and keeping them for maybe a year or less and doing tons of videos on them. And that way you really get to know the bike because I keep it real with you guys, you know. I, I don't sugarcoat it. I'm not like some of these motor vlogs out here. Every motorcycle is the best. Not, not me, man. I keep it real, you know. When I had that Ducati, I told you the problems I had. When I had the Apri, I told you about the problems I had. You know what I'm saying? The MT-09, what I didn't like about that. Um, you know, and, and any other bikes that I've owned. So I keep it, you know, I, that's one thing I tell you on my channel. You're going to get the 100% truth. You're going to get the, the reality to help keep you from wasting money on a bike. You know what I'm saying? And I tell you, so far... I would advise staying away from European motorcycles. <laughs> I'm going to try this KTM because I've talked some crap about KTM. I don't really like their warranty because you it, from in the past, unless they change it, it only covered the uh, the frame, the engine, frame, and swing arm. It didn't cover electrical components. It didn't cover the headlight or anything like that. I don't know if they've changed that or not, but here in the United States, so if you got elect you got electrical problems, here in the United States on your KTM, they usually don't cover it unless the dealer decides to cover it, unless they've changed that warranty. I don't know. It's been a while since I read the terms of their, their warranty. So I don't know, man. To spend twenty over $21,000 for a bike um, and you're not 100% sure about its reliability is, is, is very concerning. But, you know, I, I go all out for my channel and my viewers here. You know what I'm saying? It's not just 
for my viewers, uh, me getting this bike, this is something I had really wanted to try owning this KTM Super Duke R because I heard so many people tell me it's so awesome, man, especially this new one. So leave a comment and tell me, guys, what do you guys think, man? I want to hear the truth. What you, if you, you own that Super Duke R, tell me, have you had any problems? You know, tell me about it because this is the time I got mo till Monday, like I said, actually Tuesday morning to make that 100% final decision whether I'm gonna get that bike or not. Don't forget to subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel. Make sure to hit the thumbs up, it really helps my channel. Make sure to share this video. I need as much feedback as I can possibly get. And also make sure to check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up, check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.